Part 2 of the Kelly and Yuji Adventures, where we venture into dangerous caves and get lost on a deserted island full of water buffaloes, pondering our life choices as we sip on the elixir of truth. Well, I'd like to think it was that extreme and fantastical, but really, we did what a lot of tourists did on vacation. But you know what? Your imagination can take you places. If I want to pretend I'm a spelunker, yes, I did look that one up. I will be that because I choose to be that, and anyone can be anything they want to be on vacation and they in come life. from the ground. That's weird. That's so random. <laughs> There's this quote by Joseph Campbell that says the cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you see. And it's true, the deepest corners of the cave glitter the brightest. This is so cool. So hard. It can be a metaphor for anything, really. Uncovering our true emotions, taking on our dreams without certainty, unable to see or understand everything until we reach our life's purpose and manifest the desires we deserve. It's because we took our chances on this dangerous dark journey that we were able to come out of the other end an entirely new person. Stronger because we took the risks and now taking risks are worth everything. Like was this just a big hole in the earth or something? Taking a chance on love, for example, is a risk. We wear our hearts on our sleeves and slip into another adventure to find our soulmate when really the happy ending and adventure is discovering who we truly are, not who someone else is. We find ourselves in other people, and if it aligns, then those people tend to stay in our lives forever. Glowing on my camera. Do you see that? That's so weird. Does anyone know what that is? Comment below. We're not even halfway through this cave, and it's just, I have to pee. <laughs> it's like the biggest cave I've ever explored in my whole entire life. Whoa, I'm seeing weird stuff in this cave. It's really haunted. This cave truly reminds me of how beautiful uncertainty is. And the deeper you go, the more beautiful it becomes. Totoro's here. Guys, Totoro's here. I think it's a rock that's shaped like Totoro. Let's just find out. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the Totoro rock. I think at this point we walked miles just to get out of this cave, but I managed to find another metaphor for that because, you know, we've come a long way in our relationship. It was uncertain, scary, beautiful, and worth the journey. Okay, maybe I'm being a little bit sappy, but I love him. Dini dini dini. Dini dini dini. It's time for dinner, and although I'd love to try all the Okinawan food, I developed a soy allergy as of last year, and now my food options are a bit limited. So we had a good old American burger by a Japanese man named Doug. You know how when people eat a large meal and some people just crave dessert right after? I'm weird and I usually just crave coffee instead. We basked in the evening sun on our balcony enjoying the views and then it was lights out until the following day. We're going on a boat to Hakatomi Island and Yuji is seasick. We're gonna pray. After my husband survived his seasickness, we followed the tourists to a line of buses that took us to a bike rental shop. This island literally takes only a couple hours to bike the whole thing, and people actually still live here. The simple life, mostly away from society. Maybe we should move here. Bikes. This is so cool. Technically, you could walk the entire island, but we wanted to do what the interwebs recommended us to do, and let me tell you, the roads were rocky. Biking was a challenge, but we love a good challenge and moving our bodies, so we didn't really mind it until it started to rain a little bit, but you know, weather is unpredictable and sometimes you just gotta embrace it. We're on Taketomi Island right now. It's a super small island. It takes only like a couple hours to get around the island, but there's water buffaloes and houses. People People live here. The vegetation here is just so gorgeous. Everything is just so beautiful here. So we're just like stopping a lot to take pictures, but it's just, I can't wait to ride this. It's hard to like film at the same time, but I'm gonna do my best. Wow. This is so beautiful. 
No, it's crazy. It's so blue. When was the last time you visited an ocean, a forest, a lake? As humans, we get so comfortable with our lives in the city, the suburbs, and forget what more is out there for us. Nature is the best medicine. The ocean specifically produces over half the world's oxygen. It strengthens your skin, eliminates anxiety with the amount of magnesium it contains, improves asthma, and reduces insomnia. We live in a world where we search for quick fixes in life, but the best health and mindset shifts take time. He's in a shell right there. That's a nice, fashionable shell. These are tombs, and this is the, how they like lay the dead to rest. It's like houses for the dead. We basically found the only bar on this island open till midnight. Things must get poppin' around here. But hey, they have the best mango and pineapple smoothies to date. These are huge! Oh my gosh. Replenishing our energy before moving on and biking a little bit more. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> And it looks like a normal, regular old school right here. Imagine growing up on this island and having to go to school, take a boat to the city when the weather is good, and seeing all the tourists biking through your village. Just imagine that. Oh, and imagine the only other way of getting around is a water buffalo. There's a place where you can walk to the highest point in the village to see the view. It's interesting to see all the little things that make up this island. A lot of work went into the construction of it, and it makes me think of how much work goes into everything else we see and visit. Humans are so incredible. Although we have a lot of machines and technology helping us out, humans created that technology and created those machines. We are such powerful, crafty beings. Our final day consisted of relaxing at the pool, and we've come to the conclusion that nobody wanted to go swimming because the water was too cold. But although I got zero footage of us swimming and teaching my husband how to play Marco Polo, we got in the water anyway and had a fun time. We then decided to go on a drive around the island search for the famous lighthouse about two hours away from the hotel. There was literally nothing but pineapple and mango farms, so we had to stop at one of them and fill ourselves up with citrusy goodness along with our new companion, Pine Chan! Oh, I want the pineapple mango mix. <laughs> when we got to the lighthouse, it was a two-minute adventure up a windy hill, and we saw the most beautiful of views. There's something about seeing something from far away that makes the world that much more beautiful. We're tiny souls in a big world, and I found my other half in it. To the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. Amazing. Is that a pool? No, it's not a pool. Anyway, yeah, our room is up there. We're like just walking in the gardens right now and relaxing. We're gonna go sit by the fire and it's nice and cool tonight actually. You can get married here. There's a little chapel. My handsome husband, who I love so much, who's the best husband in the planet. And at the end of the night, I may or may not have gotten these nights mixed up, but it happened, so here we are. We took a walk along the beach and enjoyed the last of the warm weather since Tokyo was a freezing, rainy mess and a typhoon was on its way to the island, which meant I had to prepare myself for the bumpy plane ride we were about to endure. We can see the stars coming out now. They're starting to get bright and I was just telling Yuji that the planets are usually the brightest of stars. They're not really necessarily stars. They're like the brightest in the sky. Are they stars? I don't know. Now I'm questioning everything. And I said, I am a planet, not a star. I shine bright, right? 
Hi. <laughs> Angie said he's a pop tart. I'm just kidding. He said he's a rock star, but I thought he said he was a pop tart. We're all pop tarts. We're also all rocks for each other. You're my rock. Anyone can be a rock. Have you ever heard that expression? I don't have it. Like you're my rock. Nope. That means like you are always there for me. You always support me. You're my rock. Oh really? Yeah. Whoa, airplane. Yeah, Yuji's my rock, and you can be a rock for yourself. We're all rocks. <laughs> Advice with Kelly. <laughs> So we downloaded this app and like it's called sky view and if you look up here so you can it'll point at the stars and tell you what it is and that's cool there's jupiter which is super bright star we were wondering what that star was and then there's saturn right next to it which is so cool i wonder if you can get it on camera sagittarius cool Honestly, if I didn't go on my hundreds of dates, made mistakes, messed up, stayed with the wrong people, I never would have been able to understand myself enough and what I wanted to meet this man in my life. Not settling and putting myself out there was the best thing I ever could have done. But in the end, I got to the point where I didn't need another person to be happy. I just needed myself, and I found myself. And with that, attracted so much more magic into my life, including my husband. So explore, be curious, and as you move forward in life and make decisions based on what you want and nobody else, things just fall into place and everything aligns. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below some of your accomplishments in life. Small ones count. Also, if you're ready to find your path and your purpose, get unstuck and gain confidence, the Ikigai Lifestyle Program is now open for enrollment. The community is growing, so join today.